Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to go through some of the biggest expeditions and dungeons in New World and give you guys an ultimate guide on expeditions and dungeons in New World. So first off, I will say expeditions are a five-player instance dungeon that will take players to the darkest corners of Eternum. There, your party will face dire threats, learn more about the source of corruption, expose the angry Earth's ulterior motives, reveal the deeper menace behind the lost, and dwell into the secrets of the ancient guardians. Players can expect challenging battles which require skill and team coordination to complete. Expeditions require a group of three to five players for completion, at minimum three players like I said, so keep that in mind when you are doing these expeditions. Each expedition will also tell its own story and be a unique experience. Expeditions have loot and gear unique to that experience to incentivize exploring and conquering the various expeditions spread throughout Eternum. In successive expeditions, the mechanics and puzzles are going to vary. For example, AI sets for bosses and mini bosses will differ. Loot tables will also be unique for each expedition. So to start off, we do have our very first one. This is going to be a level 25 dungeon for recommended of three to five players, obviously, or, you know, they actually always recommend five players, but you have to have a minimum of three players. The Amrine Excavation is a dig site just west of Amrine Temple, where famed archaeologist Simon Gray and his team have been missing for some time. It's up to players to venture into the depths of this troubled dig site to uncover their fate and discover what happened with the ancient technology they unearthed. With a level 25 requirement, really guys, that is not a requirement. It's really a level 25 uh, suggestion because you actually are able to do this at any given level as long as you have the keystone to jump in. The Amring Excavation is meant to be an introductory experience to expeditions. Players will find that the mechanics of the puzzles, difficulty, and AI scaled accordingly. So I do want to say a couple different things when it comes to Amring Excavation. Obviously, you know, just this is a, uh, you know, thing that goes for every single expedition and dungeon. Keep in mind that you're going to want to bring food regeneration, uh, you know, for health as as well as mana if you use mana and then you're also going to want to bring a tincture that uh, you know maybe helps coding for that specific dungeon so we have coatings here i'm just going to show you a picture um you know we have different kinds of coatings there's ancient coatings there's coatings for angry earth there's coatings for beasts um you know there's coatings for pretty much everything so keep that in mind if you're having struggles in these dungeons or you uh, just want to make it easy definitely like i said make sure to bring some tinctures that will help with maybe the bosses or at least clearing the mobs very very fast so i will want to jump into amrin excavation like i said and talk about the monster types as well so the dungeon is actually going to feature monster type ancients the weak to strike and lightning and then also resisting slash nature and fire so keep that in mind when you're going in there depending on what you're using as a weapon, what you, uh, you know, be strong with. Like I said, ancients are going to be a very common one in these dungeons starting out. So I do want to get to level 35 dungeon because that's going to be one that is a little bit harder, obviously, than the Amring Excavation, and that's going to be the Starstone Barrows. So the Starstone Barrows is a level 35, obviously recommended players for all these dungeons, like I said, are three to five players. We have a minimum requirement of three players on each dungeon. Starstone Barrows, though, is special for many different reasons. We do have the monster type still being ancient, we have the weak to strike and lightning, and resistance being slash nature and fire. However, this is located in Everfall, right beside Everfall's town, and a lot of people love spending time in Windsward and Everfall for these dungeons, as well as so much other content that revolves around these cities. We do want to take a look at the monsters, like I said, ancients yet again, coming in with weak to strike, equaling that Warhammer and also lightning topaz. We have resisting slash nature and fire as well. So now we have the Depths Expedition. Captain Thorpe returns. His corrupted army has made the ancient ruins below a storm tower on the peninsula of the Resless Shores, their base of operation. He now styles himself the Master of the Tempest, the King of Corruption, and from this base, he terrorizes the countryside. Can you thwart his plans? This expedition is intended for level 45 players and is found in Restless Shores. So there are two bosses with unique mechanics on each. I'm not going to spoil those for you because it is a lot of fun to jump in there for the first time. What I will do is tell you that this is a corrupted area. The monster type is going to be corruption. The corruption is actually going to be weak to nature, arcane, thrust, and then you're going to be, you know, resisting, or the corruption is going to be resisting ice strike and void so keep that in mind when you're jumping in and getting involved with these corrupted enemies inside the depths i do think the depths has some great great drops i got a fire staff from there playing during the beta a very very good drop fire staff that uh, you know i used for pretty much all the way um until the end of the beta so 
make sure to actually take a, like I said, always take those pots, always take, you know, those mana regeneration is obviously health regeneration if you need that mana and health. I do suggest continuing to take tinctures that are good against corruption, obviously going to help you with coatings, tinctures, um, you know, just going to continue to, like I said, to help you out through that dungeon. So that's going to be my thoughts and my uh, advice on really the depths altogether as an expedition. I think this is one of the better dungeons out there and they only get better from here. So now we have Dynasty Shipyard Expedition. The Empress of Ebenscale is building a fleet of warships and the fleet and the Empress must be defeated for the safety of Eternum and the world. This was definitely one of the coolest dungeons in my opinion because this is the last one I was able to do during the beta. I wasn't able to get to those 65 dungeons in the beta because there wasn't enough time for myself at the very least, I saw a lot of other players, you know, getting the chance to do so, maybe reaching, you know, level 60 and actually getting that opportunity to actually complete Lazarus Instrumentality in Garden of Genesis. However, my journey kind of stopped on Dynasty Shipyard. I love Dynasty Shipyard so much. Uh, I do love the idea of rotations during the boss fights. There's so many cool things really that kind of takes place during Dynasty Shipyard. And the amount of item drops that can be insane gear score for a level 55 is just crazy. And I will say, you know, during this, you are going to realize that Dynasty Shipyard has a monster type of Corrupted. So keep that in mind when you jump in. Dynasty Shipyard going to be weak to Nature, Arcane, and Thrust, and Resistance to Ice, Strike, and Void. And if you actually take a look as well at the monsters, like I said, uh, you know, Corrupted is one of those that is very easy to actually play against because we've played against it so much in Corrupted Portals, and you see them all around the map, you're going to know exactly what they're weak to, and now you're definitely going to know what they're resistance to as well. So now we are on Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition. So Legatus Fulvius in Reekwater wants to see a local threat neutralized. Adventure into the Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition and combat the behemoth Chartus. Players must venture into the secret site that may hold the key to the origins of the Ancient Guardians to vanquish this monstrous threat. So this is actually going to be the first level 65 dungeon we're going to be talking about. I do expect New World to make actually so many more level 65 dungeons as we get going into the actual release. However, this is definitely one of the coolest ones from the looks of it. I myself have actually not been able to actually play in this dungeon quite yet. Have not been, you know, level 60 in New World quite yet. I got to, I think, 55 in the beta. Just not going to be able to actually jump into Lazarus Instrumentality. But the gameplay looks absolutely insane. And what I do know is that they are... Ancients yet again. So we've talked about Ancients prior in Dungeons being a big nuisance. Understand that they are weak to Strike and Lightning, as well as Resistance High to Slash, Nature, and Fire. So you should be able to jump into this, grab some coatings. Obviously, like usual, grab those potions, grab those tinctures, grab that food. You're going to want your basic group of five here. You know, a healer, a tank, and then three DPS, in my opinion. You are going to be able to run pretty much anything as long as you have, you know, one person that can tank and one person that can heal. You could probably mix it up from there. But realistically, to have the most ideal team, just a basic team of five, three DPS, one tank, and one healer, is going to get you the best results and net you the best, hopefully, gear as well. Because there is huge amounts of gear that uh, does some big, big Big gear score drops on this uh, dungeon specifically. So now for our final dungeon. This is going to be the Garden of Genesis Expedition Dungeon. It's going to be up in the White Zone. So we've talked about in Eden Grove before. But the survivalist Elwood has discovered a garden where the angry earth are born. Like the rest of Eden Grove, the garden has been infected with a mysterious blight. If allowed to spread, the blight will continue to leach out on the garden and threaten the inhabitants of Eternum. Players must face the Garden's protectors in order to penetrate the nursery, Primordial Heart, purge the Blight, and begin the Garden's restoration. As an endgame expedition intended for level 60 players, the Garden of Genesis will serve as a more challenging experience with higher level expeditions. Players can expect to solve different types of puzzles by varying AI. So Garden of Genesis, guys, like I said, a very, very difficult dungeon. Level 65 recommended here as well as Lazarus Instrumentality. We have seen a lot of gameplay on the Garden of Genesis specifically. I've watched a lot of fights myself. Like I said, I haven't been able to actually do Garden of Genesis myself yet. But I do have the monster type as Angry Earth. Weak to Fire and Slash as well as Resistance to Lightning and Thrust. So keep that in mind when you are doing this dungeon. You're going to want to take advantage of these weaknesses. You're also going to want to make sure to have coatings that will allow you to do more damage against the angry earth angry earth this is going to be the first dungeon we actually see angry earth featured so it's very very cool to see angry earth as a dungeon monster type 
I do expect, you know, New World to come out with more and more types in some of these newer dungeons that will come out later in the release. I do believe, though, like I said, guys, Garden of Genesis, one of the hardest dungeons, definitely going to be netting you some of the biggest gear scores and biggest uh, weapons out there in Eternum. So definitely keep an eye out as you venture through Garden of Genesis. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this really ultimate guide regarding dungeons and expeditions make sure to let me know in the comment section down below i just want to give you guys a quick understanding of what monsters you're going to be fighting and really what you should be prepared for and what is all about these dungeons and expeditions so thanks again guys make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video i'll see you guys all in the next one